If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the fastest way to upgrade Ultimate Champion Cam Chance. Now, this is an important video, guys. Your Ultimate Champion, realistically, can be the best player on your team for the majority of the year. You get him to max overall, it's a 95 overall. That's going to mean you're getting a player at an overall early in Madden that essentially you don't get that overall until about Christmas, right? And not like you consistently get it. Like you're going to get the overall, but it's going to be one of the few good players, right? So if you can get him up early enough, you're going to have a dominant player in your squad that's going to just wreck on defense, right? So this is important. Before we get into the video, though, and go through our fastest ways of doing this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. Smash the like button guys. It's, it means a lot. It helps the channel out a ton Make sure to subscribe and turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post and as well for Today's poodle squad shout out. We have Steven Osowski Osowski, sorry if I pronounced that wrong But shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad If you guys want to be shouted out in the poodle squad All you gotta do is like the video and comment down below poodle squad now. Let's get into the video So if you guys don't know camp chancellor is your ultimate champion that you do get by reaching level four and then scoring one touchdown in a solo challenge or any online mode or any mode really so this is the camp chancellor right down here um oh there you're sorry there's cam 76 cam run support archetype he's gonna be a goon if you guys haven't seen him fully upgraded if you get him all the way up all the way up with all the collectibles you get 95 overall cam is is a goon right so he's gonna have 92 speed that says right there so we got 92 speed he's going to have 90 like 4 excel or something like that uh 95 95 excel 94 excel 95 somewhere around there um he's going to have pretty good catching as well for a cam card 80 catching is really good for him he's gonna have a 93 tackle he overall is gonna be crazy he's gonna have an 87 block shot which is really good 93 play rec card's gonna be the card's gonna be insane he's gonna be insane uh, the zone coverage is going to be really good in the 90s as well. He's going to be able to do a bit of everything with the 93 hit power. And remember, he's 6'3". So you guys want to get him as soon as possible. So make sure you guys are earning all the stuff. I, I, I've been, I'm starting the grind as soon as I can. It's just like I said, it's so hard with the first few days of videos and everything, and my birthday and everything. But hopefully, I got to get in the grind as well. I've been, you know, researching all the ways to go ahead and do this fast so I can go ahead and start. It's not going to be quick, guys. When I say fastest, I mean fast. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you just play this game casually, you play online here and there, you auction a lot... You're not going to get to level 50, and you're not going to get cam done. You have to put a little bit of effort in, quite honestly. So if we look on here, this is where you're going to want to focus for the cam chancellor card. You want to go over to missions and go down to ultimate champion. This is going to be your, your make or break of your cam chancellor season, right? Upgrade your ultimate champion. Earn them by completing activities in this mission. So there's going to be a bunch of stuff. So upgrade cam chancellor and overall. So this is going to be the overalls. You can go up from 80 to 85 to 90 to 93. 94 to 95 it's just showing you like go to your lineup it's just like a quick a quick menu options it gets your lineup and actually do them now here are going to be the four increase your overall win games win solo battles or head to head earn stats complete dailies get stars and challenges these are important so increase your overall and win games this one is one that you guys want to be doing as soon as possible because here's the thing some people always forget about this one and they go ahead and they upgrade their oh, their team day one you saw all those elites in my binder i didn't put them in my lineup I kept a lot of them out. I did not do best on it because you need to win 20 games with a, uh, an overall 70 or less, which I've done. I finished all these already. The problem is, is that I didn't have cam unlocked to level four. So none of them counted. So I have to keep playing more solos. But um, so make sure you get these done first. What I recommend doing is I made my overall 69, one below 70. So I can get the wins for 70. I can get the wins for 80. And then, of course, I'll get the wins. Uh, I'll start with the uh, above 83. But... People like to make their team stack day one. Like they put all their players in for solos and then they find out to get cam. You have to go complete these. So now you have to go make a second lineup or buy bronzes, buy gold, buy players that you wouldn't have otherwise. Maybe it's a pay for them, which could cost some money actually to build up. So I'd rather get this done now while the game is just, you know, trashy solos, easy stuff to do. So make sure you're doing that because these do get you right here. This is the ultimate champion collectible. This is a collectible. This is a collectible. 87 collectible. So that's going to be four collectibles right there. Then win solo battles or head to head. Win 15 solo battles or head-to-head -head season games is... That's easy. 15 of them. Um, solo battle starts August 23rd. It says here. Just keep that in mind. But that's an ultimate collectible right there. That should be easy enough. 
win, win 30 solo battle or head to head season games that should be easy enough win 75 will take more time but those are easy those are not something you have to you don't have to grind for that just go ahead and play some head to head so i would say the top two are the ones that are pretty easy to do casually now the bottom two are going to be the ones that are harder so earn complete all 50 challenges in the gridiron forge to earn the ultimate uh, champion collectible that's an easy one 750 stars is the harder one there's not even 750 stars in the game so you're gonna have to wait until they do drop more solos now the ones you have to really focus on grinding is going to be earn stats and complete daily so these are gonna be the ones that are gonna make up the bulk of your camp chancellor so let's start from the front complete 25 daily objective list you're going to have to go ahead and by the way i'm breaking this all down for you guys i'm gonna go the ones you want to do first so complete 25 daily objective list just log on every day and make sure you're doing your daily objective which i will show you uh, shortly after if you miss a day on this it's going to set you behind so it's going to take 25 days at minimum to complete this so you're not going to be able to get camp chancellor pretty much till some point in september uh max at least right 80,000 passing yards is one that you're going to have to grind the hell out of 400 rushing touchdowns grind the hell out of um like grind the hell out of intercept 100 passes this one will be a little bit easier now you can do this in solos, but again, if you just play head to head, you're gonna probably collect like maybe two picks per game. Sometimes you'll play a bum with four picks a game. It, 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 it's not gonna be. It, it's hard to do in solos this year. The glitch last year where like you set up the punt block and everything that doesn't work anymore. So you could do it in solos. You could do it online. Five thousand points um, in any game mode. Gonna take some time. Twenty-five thousand rushing yards. These are gonna be the really hard ones right here. So as you guys can see. So now, first, of all, let me show you how to do your daily objectives. So you guys can go ahead and do that because you definitely want to make sure you don't want to miss that. It's good. It's good for you. Trust me. Daily objectives right here. It's win a game, win two games, purchase the pack, extended daily. Uh, the extended daily gets you your coin quick sell. I'd recommend you go ahead and to do this, honestly, just head to the Patrick Mahomes EA Access solo or at any point, whatever, guys, just go to the easiest solo there is to finish the one, like a five yard pass, get a first down, play it, takes 10 seconds, repeat it, takes another 10 seconds. You get this on like 30 seconds total with logging in and out, and then purchase the pack. Go to the store and get a do a get a player pack. That's what I do, the 500 coin pack. And that's it done you're done for the day it ta it'll take you no longer than a minute if you really just get go get it done now let's go back to the camp chancellor so what are the what do i recommend doing first guys first and foremost make sure like i said you focus on these i cannot stress this enough how many times i've been a victim of this like i've done this where like you're like you have an 82 overall team and you're gonna go grind camp, um, camp chancellor out and you played all your solos you finished all your solos already so now you can so at least if you do this if you grind the game, like you're, if you do your 50 gridiron solos, right? If you do 50 of them, you'll complete both of these with a below 70 overall team. And if you finish this one first, you can go and upgrade them a little bit for this one. But I'm telling you, it's so important because you can grind the game casually and get your stuff done and finish these. You don't want to be the guy that finishes all your solos and then like, oh my God, I need to go do this. But you're you're already done with solos. So now you're into the head-to-head -head grind or the solo battle grind. You can't use a bad team. So now you have to sit there and repeat solos over and over again. Get this done. It'll be super simple to do. make sure you just you don't got to focus. Just make sure you make the lineup for that. I did a 69 overall team. I will not touch my lineup until I'm above 70 overall. Then once I'm finished with that, I have 20 more games. I'll upgrade it to a 79 and then I'll go from there. Right. So make sure you are doing that. And then this one will be easier. That's after this. It's just it's greater than. So just God squad. You're good to go. But make sure you guys just have in the background that you need the team overall there. Second, you want to start. So with the head to head, guys, um, the problem head said you got to win. So if your team's not good enough, I probably wouldn't recommend grinding this out because Let's say you have like a 75 overall team. You're like, you'll probably catch a win every like five games, right? Because at the end of the day, someone's going to quit something, but that's going to take forever. If you, if you have to every five games with a trash team, 30, that means it will take you 150 games to win 30. I would not recommend these until you have a better team or go play solo battles. Solo battles are a lot more obtainable, but those are not out to the 23rd. So you have to wait about nine days, give or take. So you could just, if I, I would recommend if you have a trash team, make sure you're doing it on solo battles. If you have a good team, go to head to head. I personally get bored of solo battles. But it'll be a lot easier to win because realistically, you're not going to win 15 straight games in head to head. You'll probably win 15 straight games in solo battles, right? And I'm moving on down, guys. Stars and challenges. I, you don't have to even focus on this one. Go to your gridiron. Get your JC Jackson. Done. This one's going to take time. Don't even worry about that one right now. One that you'll know. I just keep playing solos and you'll know. And at some point, guys, you're going to have to go ahead and start maxing out stars if you want to get it. So remember that. If you want to get cam like first in the world, you're going to have to max out stars. Like, you're going to have to go into solos that you got four stars on and repeat them for five, right? Like, that's just how it's going to work. Now, this is the one that you have to focus on. This is going to be the big one. This is going to be the one to complete him. So, the 25 daily objective list. Don't take a Sunday off, guys. Like, you know the Sunday morning when you're going out with your friends or Saturday night when you're going out with your friends or Friday night? And you're like, just hop on Madden for a minute. Get your get your daily objective list done, right? If you scale, let's say every other day you hop on or you forget to do it, that would mean that it would take you over a month to get to get all these. Almost two months. When I would take anyone else 25 days. Please hop on, get your objectives done. And that leads up in the year. The more objectives you get done, you usually get stuff for like power passes and stuff. So best advice for these, 
how to gain the 80,000 passing yards, how to gain the 400 rushing yards, how to gain the intercept 100 passes, 500 total points. So total points you're going to probably get done while doing the rushing touchdowns and the passing touchdowns. So I'll show you guys how to do all that. There are core 200 sacks now. For a lot of these guys, full game solos are probably your best bet. Now, if you want to just attack one, you could hop in. So I'm going to give you guys some quick advice from here. If you want to, if you, all you have left is your passing touchdowns, hop into one of the EA access or hop into any uh, solo that's a completed pass and just bomb it right off the rip, right? But full game solos are going to be your best bet for these and make sure they're on arcade mode. Some people will just get a full game solo like on competitive or something or not arcade mode or not rookie and not realize how much it's going to hurt them. And in arcade mode, you could bomb the ball every play. And if you aggressive catch, pretty much going to be a touchdown. And of course, if you hit stick, it's a fumble. So the easiest ones to get done here, like I said, like don't you don't have to just go for them. You can just go play the full game solo and you'll know. You want to get the fumbles done. The fumbles should be pretty easy to do. Um, if you play a full game solo and you just bomb the ball instantly and get the ball back, you'll probably force a fumble every few defensive plays. As it's auto hit stick. So as long as you do it, I would recommend going to coaching adjustments and putting hit stick on aggressive and then well, tackling on aggressive and um, strip ball on aggressive. But every hit stick you get will be a fumble. The only problem is going to be is that sometimes you'll miss them or they'll swerve you or they start passing or they, they run out of bounds or, you know, a few of those things. But that would be the easiest probably going to be the fumbles. And I'd probably say, may, honestly, the passing yards going to take forever. That's going to be a while. So here's my best bet, guys. Um, at some point, guys, you're going to get to a point where you're finished everything and the passing yards and rushing yards are probably what you have left. So for the meantime, while you're grinding them up, go to challenges. And you're going to want to go to full game solo. So you can go to the campaign, guys. Honestly, you go to week one. You go to game one versus the Bengals. It's arcade. It's a full game. We're going to, you're going to hop in. Let's say you start, whatever you start off, when you're on offense, I'd recommend you take every kickoff back to the one yard line. Take it back. Because if you keep starting at the 25, you're essentially killing 25 yards per. That's going to be a third of your, pro, a whole quarter of your progress will be like, stunted. Run back to the one yard line. Bomb the ball 100 yards. That's going to be a touchdown. That's going to be yards. 100 yards, 100 yards, 100 yards. Or run the ball. 100 yards, 100 yards, well, 99 every time. And then once you run the ball on defense, you're going to kick the ball off. Now, guys, here's the thing. Kickoffs are probably the best place to get the fumble on. You know, try to try to strafe around everyone and like you run through the crowd and get a one-on-one -on -one with the guy or just switch to the guy nearest to him and hit stick him. I get my fumbles on kickoff all the time. You could literally bomb it, hit stick him on kickoff, pick it up, run the ball backwards and then bomb it again. Or you can just send the bomb right there. I mean, but you're going to be pretty close up. So I'd probably recommend you, uh, you run the ball back 80 yards and then throw it back up, right? And do that over and over again that's gonna be the best way to do that and then guys once you finish all like the fumbles and you finish all the you know the, and the sacks too for sacks guys what you could be doing is you could also just run mid blitz every play you could run mid blitz every single play out of nickel two four five uh two four five a gap or something like that the a gap one you could just run mid blitz all game and if they don't get the sack when they pass it you can go for the hit stick right? you can get a little bit done both there's uh both in that same instance now once you're done with all those guys you're probably going to be stuck with about these two real quick here which i do want to go over there's going to be two of these where you're kind of stuck on for a while. It's going to be the 80,000 passing yards, probably the rushing touchdowns, and then you're going to be the passing touchdowns as well. The defensive ones you will get throughout the solos you're playing. So what I would recommend is this. At that point, guys, you really don't want full games anymore. Once the defense is done, you don't want to go to solos like this. Now, again, this won't be there probably by the time you guys are oh, like seeing this at all times. The EA access solos do go away, but just to give you an idea, you want to go to a solo like the Mahomes one. See where it says right here? Score a passing touchdown this drive. Um, you start off on the 42, right? Now, the problem with that is that you are starting at the 42, but if it's just touchdowns, right? If you're just going for touchdowns, you could just start here and just bomb it up. Or you can go to the one with the Mahomes where it's a five-yard pass. You're at the 45. You can go to the Mahomes where it's score passing touchdown on the 36. You're going to want to find the one where you start on the lowest one. Now, this is the five, but this is in the end zone, so you don't want to do this either unless you're just going for touchdowns. If you have the yardage done, you just need touchdowns, play this one. You start in the five. You score passing touchdown. The game ends. Start over. Start over. Start over. You could easily do like a hundred touchdowns an hour like or more it would be it would be super easy to do that but um again you can find something similar to this you're gonna be a lot of ways to do this or you can go into a solo like a rushing one like this on the five yard line a red zone one and you can rush the ball in if you're going for straight yards though guys you're gonna want to full games are still the best way for, for the yardage one take the kickoff run it back score but like i said if you're done with the defensive don't do that because then you got to play defense find one that you can just bomb it up you want to check the yardage find the one where you start on the lowest the lowest yards, like where you start all the way back, like a fresh kickoff or something, right? You also could just bomb it in the full games and then restart. Um, I wouldn't really recommend that. I, I don't even know if that's going to count properly. I, like I said, I would rather do one like this where I'm sure. But again, those would be gone. So maybe go into campaign, uh, check out week one, go to, there's a rushing one, rush 15 yards in five plays. This one starts at your 25. So this is a perfect one for the rushing ones. You start from there, you rush down. And then of course the passing ones, same thing. You start at 25, 
you need three complete passes though again which is why it's annoying so you gotta just you gotta be looking out but there's not a lot of solos in the game but this would be my best advice on how to finish these hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you have any questions dm me over on twitter like the video comment down below if you guys have any questions if you guys want if you guys want to be shouted on the poodle squad hit that subscribe button comment down below poodle squad and turn on that noti bell thank you guys so much for showing support i'm out see you guys later peace